Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Today, we are going to show you how to install the OEM BMW 6WB Digital Cluster. Whenever you're working on any electrical component in your vehicle, you always want to make sure that you go ahead and take a 10 millimeter socket and remove the negative battery terminal. And just tuck it down to the side. All right, so once you've disconnected your battery, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and get the factory cluster out. So what you want to do is go ahead and loosen your steering wheel. Just pull it as far out and as far down as you can and lock it in place. For this installation, you don't need to remove the wheel. Okay, so once your battery is disconnected and your wheel's out of the way, go ahead and grab a T20 bit. There are just two screws. There's one right here, and there's another one right here. I recommend using just a small thumb driver. That way you can just get your hand in here very easily and just go ahead and remove these. Okay, so then we'll remove the second one. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to rock the cluster down, and then you have to make sure that you account for these little clips on the bottom. So I'll show you what we're gonna do here. So your first step is it should come right down, then you wanna kinda just push the bottom in just ever so slightly, and then that's going to enable you to be able to wiggle this out. Okay, there we go. Okay, at this point, the, the cord's a little bit short, so go ahead and take a trim tool. There's a little plastic fastener on this other side that's just keeping everything in place. I'll show you that in just one second. So just go ahead and release that. So now I can show you what was plugged in there. So if you look down here, there's this little piece of plastic and they plug that in the end just to make sure that the wire stays nice and tight. So just go ahead and pop that out with a trim tool. Okay, so at this point you can see that there's three different connections. So go ahead and just press on the tabs and then you'll be able to release the three different connections. So there's, there's the first connection there. I'm going to press on the second tab, move that connection. And there's just one more. Okay, and then you can remove your cluster out of the way. So here's a close up of the connections that we removed. So as you can see on all three of these, there's just a small plastic tab. Once you press on that plastic tab, you're able to pull the plug out. All right, go ahead and grab your digital cluster. And what I like to do is I like to start at the bottom and plug that one in. This one in, it's very important to make sure that these all clip into place. If you don't have them plugged in 100% all the way, you may have some functions that won't work correctly. Okay, so everything is completely clipped in. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this little piece of plastic, this little tab that we had talked about earlier, and I'm going to plug it in the other side just to make sure that everything stays just really nice and tight. All right, so now that that's plugged in, what we can do, we're going to install it in the reverse order that we removed the other one. You have to remember that there's these little tabs down here, so what you want to do is try to duck in the bottom first, hook it underneath, and then press the new cluster in. Then once you've done that, go ahead and take your two T20 screws. We're just going to reinstall those. Okay, so at this point, the hardware is fully installed and you can go ahead and reconnect your battery terminal. Now, it, when you first start up your car, you're going to get a bunch of warnings, you're gonna get failures, you're gonna get malfunctions. It's completely normal because the car hasn't been coated yet. You'll notice, I'll give you a shot of what the, the cluster looks like. So as you can see, everything looks amazing at this point. However, it's not fully functional. So what we have to do to finish everything out is finalize the coating. Included in your digital cluster purchase is Beamer Tech's remote coating service. So no matter where in the world you live, they'll be able to code your vehicle to make sure that this is fully functional. What we're going to do now is we're going to fire off our laptop, have Beamer Tech remotely code it, and then we'll show you a demonstration of what the cluster looks like. Once you set up your appointment, they're going to send you a link that's going to have some files to download. These files are going to enable Beamer Tech to, wherever you are in the world, remotely code your vehicle. Okay, so right now I am talking with the Beamer Tech technician through Skype, and he has directed me to go ahead and plug everything in and start the car. All right, so at this point, the coating is completed. All those warnings we saw earlier are completely gone as we expected, and they even changed my speedometer from kilometers to miles per hour because I live in the USA. All right, so here's a look at the digital cluster in action. Okay, so this is your main display. This is what's going to be displayed when you go ahead and start your car up. You can see my door is open, and that's indicated on the screen. 
Now if you are using navigation, your navigation display will display on that center portion of the screen. If I go down to Eco Pro, you can see that the entire cluster changes. You'll notice that for all of these that your oil temperature is on the right, and then on the far left we have our fuel level. Okay, so go back up to comfort. Again, this is what the display looks like on this. Then if we go up to sport, it's really cool what this does. As you notice, I have it in miles per hour, but the speedometer is 100% digital. And as far as what the gauges actually look like, you can see I just, you just give it some revs. We go up into sport plus mode. It's basically the same style. It just removes traction control. Again, this is Brian, and thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you are interested in one of these amazing looking 6WB digital clusters for your BMW, make sure to visit us online at keysmotorsports.com or send us an email at info at keysmotorsports.com. We'd be happy to help you out. As always, make sure you give us a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.